Hey everybody, you're watching Indy Now. This is your place for all things local, positive, things to do in the community, and we love being here with you. I'm Jillian, and this is Ryan. Cheers, I just realized you don't have, oh. it's okay. We'll cheers, I'll cheers with the pump. I don't have my mug, so yes, it's good here. to have you back, buddy. Cheers, thank uh, you. I hope your day off was restful, and we're happy that you're here. We were talking backstage, we say backstage, we're just in our cubicles. <laughs> um, you, you just had a good day of sleep and rest yesterday. Yeah, I was telling you, I came in and I said, I always feel like, and I was trying to think of Rip Van Winkle. Yep. But I was like, who's that character? You said Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> No, I was like, no way, he's a now, different story. No, there's R's and P's in both, though. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, not Rumpelstiltskin, but Rip Van, Rip Van Winkle. Winkle. Whenever I'm feeling under the weather, I go yeah. into like a full-on sleep coma. Yeah, sometimes you have to. Like then we did, we did the rabbit trail of how Rip Van Winkle is connected to Indiana. Here we go. It was written by Washington Irving mm -hmm. back in the 1800s or something <laughs> like that. And uh, Washington Irving also wrote Legend of Sleepy Hollow, which then they named the town Irvington after and yeah. the Irving Theater and all that good stuff. Hence the spooky Halloween stuff going on in Irvington. Now you know. Now you know. You're welcome. Isn't that great? I can always count on Ryan for a history lesson. Oh yeah. And I always learn something new. Dude, I went to bed as a kid reading like trivia books and encyclopedias. It's all up here. It doesn't always have a home, but I'm glad it found a home on today's show. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. We have a great show today. We do. And we yeah. always like to start things off. On a good note! 